The 750 Motor Club is one of the UK's most influential motorsport organisations. The vast array of championships and machinery, there really is something for everyone. In our second series with the 750 Motor Club, we're going to take a closer look at the rest of their series under their banner. Today we'll be taking a look at the 750 Motor Club's Bike Sports Championship. These bike engine cars have proven to be a very enjoyable series with a great variety of cars coming out to every event and some really exciting racing as well. My name's Ash Hickrin, I race in 750 Bike Sports Championship. Now I was, I was always obsessed with absolutely anything to do with anything going fast to be honest. I was at Lowen Park and me and my dad just were watching the cars going up and we kind of said oh looks like fun that does, should we have a go and yeah and here we are. <laughs> so let's run through some of the requirements for this championship. So for the weights you'll have to see the regulations for the full detail as the minimum weights will change depending on your type of car. For the engine any naturally aspirated series production four stroke motorcycle engine can be used however forced induction is not permitted. For the transmission the gearbox must remain as part of the bike engine within the engine casing arrangement as per the bike manufacturer's standard configuration. I kind of came straight into this series to be honest um, so this is my fourth year racing in this uh, we took a year out last year I raced with Joe Locker in Club Enduro which was great fun um, and then the pair of us kind of decided we'll go back to Radicals and yeah, and because we just we miss the the downforce and the high speed. So, well, I've always been fairly relaxed to be honest. I've never really had any sort of nervousness or butterflies or anything like that. I, if anything, I'm normally sit in the uh, assembly area, almost falling asleep, just kind of really chilled, which I guess isn't a bad thing. Something that's nice about this championship is that the wheels and tires are free. So you can try out many different combinations to see what suits you best and make sure that you're confident and fast out on track. There were 14 rounds in the 2022 championship spread across six double header race weekends. Each weekend consists of a 20 minute qualifying session followed by two 20 minute races. So 60 minutes of track action for the very reasonable entry fees is a really good selling point for this championship. So what would the cost be for this bike sports championship? Well, as always, the club membership is just 25 pounds for 12 months. Season registration is just 120 pounds. And for the double header weekend entry fees, that's qualifying in two 20 minute races, you're looking anywhere between 320 and 380 pounds. This is dependent on the circuit. And in terms of the cars, you can buy eligible cars secondhand from just £13,000. Also, the beauty of this championship is you can also develop your own car. So be sure to look at the regulations. There'll be a link in the description of this video. If you're looking to get involved, I'm sure there'll be many people that would like to get you involved with the championship and can point you in the right direction for any more information. There's always more room for improvement. Um, doesn't matter who you are, even if you're up in F1, they're probably still wanting to improve. So yeah, I think everyone just wants to push as hard as they can and have as much fun as they can. I had a really nice one at Alton on, on, on Alistair actually, which was a little bit of a, a last minute lunge and it, and it stuck. And that, yeah, that, that was a, I think I caught him out by surprise a little bit, which was fun. Yeah, obviously the main part is always having fun. Um, I'd love to get talking of Alistair, there he is. <laughs> yeah, I think the main part is always having fun and enjoying yourself. Um, I'd love to go into something like GT racing, um, either British GT or something like that. I'd love to do something like that because, yeah, GT cars are probably my favourite to watch, to be honest. So a massive thank you for everyone at the 750 Motor Club for helping me with this series and getting involved with it. Massive thanks to all the teams and drivers and everyone at the tracks who makes this series possible. We'll see you soon in a few weeks' time for another episode. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.